over to the first video in the reactor introduction series. In this video, we'll be discussing some of the basics of how to navigate through the software. At the top left, we have File, Edit, Updates, and Help. Under File, you're going to find Save Workspace, Export Settings, Import Settings, Application Settings, and Exit. Save Workspace is going to save all your object manipulations, all your objects in the print area, and your printer settings. Export Settings is going to export just your printer settings. And then Import Settings will import those same settings in for a custom profile that maybe another user has created. Application Settings is more of a development tool. And it's not really used very much just for printing. And Exit, of course, just exits the software. To the right, in parentheses, we see uh, keyboard shortcuts for each of the uh, features. Under edit, this is mostly object manipulations, which will be covered in a further video. Under updates, we have check for updates and get newest profiles. Check for updates is going to check for updates that would actually update the software, whereas get newest profiles is going to add material profiles from our server that we've created. Help just has an about a user manual link, and you can deactivate your license through there. Next, just below that is our left toolbar here. You can minimize the toolbar with this arrow at the top. To import an object, either an STL file or an OBJ file, uh, I believe it also takes .ply and .off files. Just click the Add Objects button, and we'll just go ahead and import our torture test. Once the torture test is in the print area, it can be accessed through the manipulations and selected by either clicking on it or going down to the object list and clicking on it here. We'll go ahead and import another. So now we have two objects in the print area and down in the object list. You can tell which one is currently selected because it's the opaque orange versus translucent white. To maneuver the camera, you can use the right click on any sort of dead space. Click dragging with the right click is going to rotate the camera. And then the middle mouse button, clicking and dragging, is how you pan. And the scroll wheel is zoom in and out. At the top, we have a reset camera button and a reset workspace. It's going to ask you if you want to do this before you do so. It's just going to reset the workspace to before any sort of object manipulations have been taking place. That wraps up our first video.